everybody keeps saying regressing to the meet. He's, he's not going to have the same type of numbers. He's not going to be that same kind of player. So what are, are, are either you pay a guy now and, and, and you think Zach, Dak is the guy, or are you just like, I don't know, maybe this year we'll, you know, have a run or, and that's it. Let, let, let me ask you this. this, and this is not a race thing. Uh, why don't we have this conversation about Matt Stafford, who has won nothing? Why don't we have this conversation about Kirk Cousins, who has won one playoff game? Why don't we have this conversation about Matt Ryan, who was four and six, had, had one good playoff run? Dude, you know, I'll tell these, you why. These guys who America's are team, stats. America's team, there's no – the expectations on that team and that franchise – are wholly different and no disrespect to the Atlanta Falcons, Mike, but as far as like beyond regional fandom, the Atlanta Falcons are totally irrelevant. And, and I, and I, I, I think you have a great team and I think you've done a fantastic thing, but Dallas is a national fan base. Right. As much as I hate it, did, but the, Minnesota, I mean, never won anything and actually are known for finding fantastic ways. That's to right. <laughs> uh, and Detroit worse than Minnesota. <laughs> okay, expected to lose. So, and not just lose in the playoffs, but lose every week. Yeah. So Dallas <laughs> is a totally different animal. And they're yeah. always going to be talked about no matter how shit they are. The Dallas Cowboys are going to be on the forefront of the national conversation in football. Well, it's, it's to their detriment if they give into that then. Because Matt, He's built Matt, it. Jerry Jones fucking because, loves that. That's because his, that's because, the, because th- th- this is not a knock on all those other quarterbacks. Matt Ryan deserves – multiple contracts. Matt Stafford deserves multiple contracts. And, uh, and the, the, Kirk, Cousins, Kirk Cousins, I think, actually deserves not as much as I think he got, yeah. but he deserves multiple yeah. contracts. And Dak Prescott deserves multiple contracts. Right. Yeah. Well, to, to your point, Matt, um, like, I, I want to touch on Matt Stafford. Yeah, he got a lot of money. Matt Stafford got sacked, like, average of 45 times a year, right, o- over the course of his career. Outside of Calvin Johnson – up until recently with Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay, he's had no one else to throw to. Running game? <laughs> That's funny. They haven't had a 1,000-yard rusher there in like 50 years since yeah, like Barry Aaron, Sanders played. Like, like Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Yeah. Well, Aaron and Rodgers golden, is an amazing quarterback. Matt Stafford had Golden Tate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, golden – all right. I know, I know Connor probably jumped down my throat, but Golden Tate is like the most – Average wide receiver in the NFL. He's good, not Danny great. Amendola. He's good, not bad. Yeah, but that's since last year. <laughs> Amendola's <laughs> first year was last year with the team. So, but when you look at Matt Stafford, he's got incredible arm talent. He's putting up, look, this is the first year Dak Prescott threw for over 4,000 yards in his four year career. He's, he's been under $3,800, $3,800, 3,800 yards his first three years in the league. Matt Stafford's been putting up four. 4,500, 5,000 yard seasons every, almost every year until he, until his back gave out on him last year. So he puts up these numbers with shit talent, a shit defense, no fucking running game, no offensive line. And he puts up these numbers. Dak Prescott has one of the best offensive lines, such a good receiver, hall of fame, uh, tight end. He's got a, a potential hall of fame running back hall of famers all along the offensive line. And he's had one season. That was but nearly 5,000. Like, what are you talking about? I mean, Matt Stafford was throwing to Calvin Johnson, the greatest receiver of all time. Who can out, I anything. said outside of Calvin and then, Johnson. And then, and then for the bulk of his – I know, but, like, that eats up a lot. I mean, he can catch 130 balls a year. Um, I mean, that, that's a third uh, of – that's almost a half, uh, probably, of, of, of the targets. And then, he, and then for the bulk of his career, he had Jim Schwartz coordinating that defense. I mean, that team wasn't, wasn't as bad um, as, as people recollect. I mean, they even went to the playoffs. Uh, so wait, they were always around seven, eight wins. Here's my question to you then: Are Matt Stafford, uh, Cousins, and who was the other example that you gave? Um, Matt Ryan. Okay, Matt. Well, Matt Ryan. I think I'm going to take out of this conversation. But as, as far as Kirk Cousins and Matt Stafford are concerned, are those guys getting paid? At least Matt Stafford is he getting paid to just get his brains beaten? Because they're not going to a Super Bowl. That's not happening. Kirk Cousins was extremely overvalued 
coming out of Washington, but at Minnesota just thought that they were in such a position to like yeah. win a Super Bowl for the first time ever. And they had to take a flyer on there. There was nobody else. I will. I, there wasn't really that many options to sign as far as quarterbacks were concerned. So that was kind of like a situation that everything kind of came together for Kirk Cousins, who is, I mean, if you look at his career in a nutshell, you're like, are you fucking kidding me? You gave him what? Yeah. Um, And and so I I think, I don't know, looking at this Dallas Cowboys team, I'm like, is this team beating the best in the NFL right now to go to the Super Bowl? Do you think that Dak Prescott can win a Super Bowl? No. Yeah, of course he can. I don't know. I Foles won a Super Bowl. That's Carson Wentz got them to the Super Bowl. You, Carson Wentz brought them to yeah, a 14. Yeah but, yeah, but let's not underestimate making a playoff run. I mean, that's pretty incredible. Home I think if managed. used properly – okay, I, I'll say this. If, if used properly, I think Dak – By the Prescott way, Nick Foles is not that bad of a quarterback, right? He, no, nah, Nick he Foles is, is a perennial fucking backup. I don't – like, I, I'm – he's not going to do – seven touchdowns in one game, he's, right? Yeah, that's that's but, pretty impressive. Then, okay, then, then how, how's he doing as a starting quarterback for, like, every other team that he's played for? Like, he's just – the, the sample size as opposed to that one year's playoffs has right. been dog shit. Yeah. Yeah. One like of the most yeah. rogue coaches calling plays and, 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 and teams not being able to prepare for Nick Foles in the playoffs. I mean, it, honestly, basically you prepare for one team the entire year and then the playoffs, you're basically seeing a completely different picture and a coach who has a ton of like huevos, like balls. This guy, like Peterson has, has called games way more aggressively than any other coach has, especially in the playoffs when there's so much to lose. So I think he, that's an anomaly right there, but can Dak Prescott, if under a really stable, really good offensive scheme, can he go and manage a game? Can he do what Dilfer did? Sure. But (laughs) Dilfer had the best defense in history. So that's my question. Is is the Dak going to be the difference that brings them to a Super Bowl? I, I, of course I don't he can so. be. Of course he can be. Ah. Can, there's nothing on tape that, that would indicate that he, that he can't be. You know, he doesn't have a lot of game-winning drives because their defense sucks so much they give up, the, they give up game-winning touchdowns at the end of the game. Um, or, or they're so far behind that, that there's no chance for, uh, for, for Dak to come back. Um, like, who – like, if, if the Cowboys get rid of Prescott after this year, what, what is the plan? What is their plan? Because they're going to be drafting. That they're riding with Mike McCarthy then. Because there's no other way that you wouldn't pay that guy. Like, I, I think that their, their belief is we need to totally take our offense in, in another direction. Or, or either – there's so many moving pieces. Is Mike McCarthy going to commit to the run? Uh, is this quarterback going to be able to if, – if we're not going to commit to the run, can Dak do what Mike McCarthy needs him to do offensively? It, it, it's, a, it's a massive experiment, which is why I'm kind of – intrigued to watch and hopefully watch it go up in flames but uh there's so many things going on here now if the question were is Dak deserving if if Kirk Cousins and and well if Kirk Cousins is deserving of what Kirk Cousins is getting (laughs) is Dak deserving to get more than what the, the Jerry Jones is offering to give up absolutely but I mean I think Kirk Cousins as far as contract negotiations are going for the quarterback position. I think he just basically took a shit all over NFL like ownership throughout the, the league that the Vikings, that was probably the most crazy thing I've ever seen. Look, Dak, Dak should get paid, right? I'm, I'm not saying that, that he should all quarterbacks should get paid. It is the hardest position in sports to play. You have to know what 10 other positions are doing on your side of the football. You also have to know what 11 positions are doing on the other side of the football. It is the hardest position in all of sports. Every starting quarterback should get paid money, right? My argument is that I, I just don't, I, I really don't think Dak is that good of a quarterback to put the Cowboys over a hump. I think they can probably do something better elsewhere. C- guess what other quarterbacks are on one-year contracts right now? Cam Newton, Okay. Jameis Winston, fuck Jameis Winston. Cam Cam Newton is on a one year deal in New England. So, and New England are not the type of people to pay. Obviously, we saw it with Tom Brady and you know multiple of their other free agents who they decide to just let walk. Jamie Collins, so, you know, you want to go seek your money? Fine, go to another team and play like shit and not want to win championships. That's fine. So if Cam Newton is there, he wants to get paid. 
Jerry Jones is sitting there like, wow, this guy played for the Cow uh, for the New England Patriots with Bill Belichick. He still got it. He looks good. Why don't I bring him in here? Why don't I let that go? Because Cam Newton has been to a Super Bowl. He's been an MVP, right? Th- these are things that Jerry Jerry looks for. He wants See, stars. Could, con- contrary to Mike's point, though, I do think – an earlier point, I, I think that if, if Dak goes out and has a year, um, I, think, I think Jerry Jones will be the first one at the table to be like – Let's. I'm sorry. Here, here you go. Um, it, whatever, whatever. You you start naming prices, or the other teams will dictate the price. And and I think I think he'll be back Winning at the contract. Winning changes too. everything. It's just like right? like you can't look at the Cowboys and say Dak was the problem. You can't say that. Not at all. No, not at all. I. I so how could you get I, rid of them? Well, maybe maybe you don't get rid. Maybe maybe the idea is like okay, so we got rid of our coach finally. And now we have to actually see if this new coach is going to break. Like, what, what's the point of giving a guy mega bucks before you even can see if this offense even works with this quarterback? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the argument, right? Like, let's see how he meshes with McCarthy. Then we got Andy Dalton there, who may be a better fit. Because then you could say, well, no, you could say, hey, Dak, you know what? We're going to ride with you. McCarthy's out of here. And then we're going to but, – but then you have to bring in another coach. And then you have to – like, I, they're – all those I negotiations. Get the, I mean, I, I get the sense that the Jerry Jones has much more loyalty to Mike McCarthy right now, yeah. even though he hasn't coached a game, than yeah. he does to Dak Prescott. However, however, Mike uh, uh, Jerry Jones, I don't think his loyalty to coaches. It, it, I don't think that's a fair point in the sense that I think it was Jason Garrett was his bitch. He was for way too loyal a, a, as many as many years as he could be. I think Jerry, the coach, has to come in basically like hat in hand saying I'm willing to let you have as much influence as you want on this team, Jerry. And, and if, if a coach is amenable to that, then, then sure you can have the job. So I don't know if it's necessarily that loyalty to the coach is it is the coach willing to be, do what I say and, and let me, you know, pretty much run this team and de facto kind of thing. And then he can run the offense, but I, everything else is my shit. So I, I, I don't know. Uh, if it's necessarily loyal to the, to the coach or if he's just like, all right, Mike McCarthy, I don't like what he's doing, so I'm going to move on. All right. I, I think if, Mike McCarthy went there. If this conversation has taught us anything, it's that the Dallas Cowboys are nothing but a giant fucking question mark for this entire season. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a wait-and-see approach. Is Dak going to go 10-6? and six? Maybe. He could also go 7-9 and nine again because it's new year, new coach, new system, whatever so it So things be. to keep in mind if you have – Zeke Elliott in your plans or Dak Prescott for your draft since this is fantasy football's finest uh you know uh, show here exactly the, 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 actually talking about a fantasy lot football, of question this, marks. this is interesting yeah. there's a lot of question marks so I mean a I don't lot know of if question you're marks high on a lot of these guys uh, maybe maybe you know reconsider how you feel about them um but then fantasy being fantasy even even if these guys have down years they're probably going to put up a shitload of points and, and do that's work right for you so. yeah